Good morning. So we're here live in the city of Lagos with the long-awaited Uncommon Women Summit. Okay, so you might ask, what's the whole craze? Why is everybody here? What's the paparazzi? Okay, fine. In case you don't know, the Uncommon Women Movement, as we all know, or as I'm introducing to you, is a movement of career women who are driven by a purpose to please God, to make God proud, and make every area of their life work perfectly. So I'm here today with other amazing Uncommon Women to celebrate and host the Uncommon Women Summit 2024. And we're live at the Elevation Church, Pistis Hub, Ikeja, Lagos. Our theme for this year is made to shine that's incredible so join me as i work with beautiful women to tell us their expectations for this meeting and what they hope to live with after this meeting the phenomenal and for me would be me expect a lot of fun and of, of course expect to be in god's presence expect to get a word expect to shine expect to shine your lights irrespective of whatever has held you down. Just expect that today is the day that you shine. Basically, one precise word that God gave me for this event is that there are people who were shining before, but they stopped shining because of life's issues and uh, things that have happened to them. And it's time for them to shine again. So that's the precise word that I got for this event. So if there are women who probably were shining before and then they stopped because of one thing or the other, they are going to shine again. My name is Amen Moore. I want to believe that I'll be speaking as the Spirit of the Lord leads me, not by myself. And so I'm looking forward to sharing things based on what the Spirit of God lays in my heart so that someone here will be blessed, even if it is just one person. Pastor Ezekiel Ahamba, I trust God to come down in the fullness of His power and um, to reveal Himself and to make manifest the glory of his presence. I'm trusting God that every woman who will walk into this hall will come out transformed and shining and impacting on their generation. My name is Nneka Jethro Wobe, known as the Happy Employee Coach. So my passion and mission is to help people who have nine to fives to truly be happy at work, managing their managers and maximizing their money. One of the things that I will call a challenge is knowing that people can be challenging. Human beings can be challenging. Um, I think it's understanding that we're very different and understanding that people may not always understand you. But also being convinced of my calling and my assignment, knowing who I was called to, what I'm called to do, and just staying the course. Sometimes people just don't understand. People have gone through their own trauma, their own struggles, so it affects how they relate with you. So it's not about you. For me, it's just staying the course, staying focused and saying, what am I called to do? Who am I sent to? And I stick to that. I think that the way human beings are designed is that we are designed for influence and so if you are in the uncommon woman group what that does is that you are seeing the image of people who are doing very well as well who are able to go through the challenges that you are facing you can learn from them and you can climb on their shoulders literally to achieve your own victory that's one of the most beautiful things about being in the uncommon woman group being able to harness and take advantage of those people in front of you and climb their shoulders and do what they are doing just literally like copy and paste and finding your own unique voice you can see people who are mothers who are single who are careful who are doing great things and you begin to do the same thing as well my name is dr shogo and i was one of the speakers at the uncommon woman conference 2024 the impact the Uncommon Woman Conference we create for women, one thing I majorly saw was a mindset shift and practical tools to get better and stand out in life. My name is Jumoke Aliuke Malakai. I was on the panel uh, where we discussed what it means to uh, be made to shine. I think for many of the conversations we've had today, all the amazing speakers who spoke, a lot has been said about how women should be deliberate about how they shine. Um, and I believe that the essence of the summit was to bring women together, bring people who come and share ideas, um, thought leadership, inspire women to be the best versions of, of themselves. These conversations cut across career women, entrepreneurs, raising children, being married. So it talks about all the areas of our lives. And of course, we're reminded to prioritize our self-care because yes, when we as women are wholesome, then everybody else can benefit from you know uh, the fact that we are truly uh, living our best life. So yes, that's the essence of the summit and I believe that for every woman who attended, they have a lot of nuggets and insights and many takeaways that will help them even as they go along in their careers and businesses. 
My name is Ifoma Chuksadizwe. You can be more calls me Kochifi. The summit uh, is actually an annual summit, though we haven't done it for a while. But the whole idea is to help career women that are desiring more from life realize that it is possible. That you can be a career woman with your full time job, yet you have those dreams that God has put in your heart, and you can bet them, and you're growing in your career. A lot of times we talk about entrepreneurship or just career growth. This is one platform that, you know, blends both of them. So the summit is a reminder to women that it's possible. Honestly, one of the biggest things that we always see is that the women are fired up. They see it as a possibility. If you feel like you have a dream but you don't feel it is possible, you don't even pursue it. But once we have our summit, it always shows that it is possible and women will share how they did it. So just coming out of that and saying, oh, I heard this person and this person said this and this person said this. And so they go back and start to do it for themselves. We are called to career women across Africa. And I strongly, strongly believe that there are a set of career women that our light is to be shown across the world in our industries, outside our industries. So if there are women that are having those questions in their hearts, that's where we come in. And our goal is to be across Africa. Today we are 25,000 strong. Our goal is to grow to be a million women by 2030. And also, not just a community of this number of women, but helping women identify their more and bet it. So that's really our big goal. My name is Mojibola Shonibare. I'm here to be a partaker of this event that is Tag on Common Women Summit. My expectation is to come out brighter than before. Fortunately, I had some group in my workplace and in my society, and I intend to impart whatever I learned today and also introduce this I summit being my first time here. In our own society here, where women are put at the back, I believe this program will bring out the light in us. I'm Ijoma by name. I'm here for this program in order to get myself enlightened more on how to build my career. And I believe that in going back home, I believe I'll be more enlightened on how to utilize the opportunity I have as a career person and at the same time be able to learn from other women experience on how they were able to manage their home, manage their career and be able to build themselves and build their home as a person. I will actually make use of what I have learned today to impact to other women. I'm Drew Jaira Milekun. Well, this is my first time being here. I came here to be inspired by the speakers because I've gone through the list and I want to leave here a changed person and impacted with lots of knowledge. I want to learn we learn and learn. As a school head, I'll start with the women in my community to impact knowledge with them, organize a little seminar or indoor seminar to impact from what I've gained here today. I'll start from there, start from my church to impact and then from there I believe we'll go wild and everybody will know about it. Wow, many women are too engrossed in how homework, housework, most times we are too busy. We don't even have time for ourselves. This is an opportunity for networking. This is an opportunity to meet other women and learn from them, how they made it in life. So this is very important. I, I think it's, a, it's one of the number one thing that women should not avoid. Any gathering like this that involve women because we have opportunity to experience things that we are experiencing and we feel, oh, we are the only one in that phase. But by the time we meet other people and then Bumingo will say, oh, sorry, I'm not the only one. And then we learn from other people's experience and make ourselves better. My name is Adrian Solato Bite. I'm here today to gain knowledge from career women. Know their key points and keywords that are taking them so far in life. And I'm here to participate and meet other people. It's very, very crucial and important because you have to learn from those that are up so you can know the way to get up to. My name is Ihoma Jesuyomi. I'm here because, first of all, I'm an uncommon woman. <laughs> I was putting it at that because that was what caught my attention, you know, and I came all the way from um, out of Lagos, you know, for this particular program. And my expectations much more are, you know, like having a better definition of myself, seeing much more of the future, you know, 
of the kind of person that I would be. You know, women, there's so much that we have. So I believe this kind of conference, it's something that would give me that push, like a propelling platform to be able to see the greater you know, woman in me. Going back to where you know, I came from, like I said, I don't live in Lagos, so I had to come specifically for this program. Okay, so getting back to where I stay, um, I would of course gather women, especially because I work with children and teenagers, you know, so working with them also automatically gives you access to their parents, especially their mothers, you know, so I would begin to let them know that you are more than you think you are. You are made to shine, especially even in every area. And let me say this quickly. One of the things again that caught my attention was the every area, then the totality of a woman in career, you know, in business, in your home, in your marriage, with your children, in society generally. So when I get back to my base, I begin to let them know, you understand, that Mr. Ify has taught us all of this and we can be uncommon women anywhere we are. No community, you commune, that is you have relationships. I mean, I'm just one person away because people are portals that they, they, I may need something and may just be with you. <laughs> You know, or you may need something, we may be with me. And it's been a long time I've been out like this, and I'm so excited. It seems to me like it's almost Christmas, but it's like my Christmas came early. I'm Enela Adeyemi. I'm here today to have a beautiful encounter that will last and linger a while in my life. Because we've been made to shine. So I will ensure that whatever I acquired here today, I will go out there and make in part. We live in a society that is revolving, and it is important that we are updated. And this kind of conference is something that we need often so that for those who are already in their comfort zone, they will know that there is more for them to do. Because the world we have now, we need people on their toes to make impact. And this kind of program will be a search that will empower women to go out there knowing that there is more to their life and they will impact the nation. I would like you to give me what your postcard talks about. You will give me the energy that your postcard talks about. So, hello, ma'am. I see possibilities in everywhere and anywhere I see myself. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, so we have the, I don't want to say this, we have the giant slayer here. Give me the giant slaying energy. I slay giant. Wow, interesting. Okay, so another person that sees only possibilities. So tell me how you see only possibilities. I see only possibilities. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, so to my next person, how do you defend your territory? I defend my territory. Wow, that's interesting. I have beautiful uncommon women here with me, and it's very rare to find an uncommon woman. Okay, so I'm just going to ask you very few questions. My name is Mesoma. Mrs. Odinaka. Adiola. Shoma. How did you hear about it? Through Facebook. Facebook! Please don't play with social media. How'd you get about it? A friend invited me and she's right here. Oh, she's such a nice person. How did you get about it? Trust Facebook. Facebook! Some people are not using their Facebook well though. How'd you get about it, Mr. Facebook? Facebook. Okay, so you were invited by a friend. Yeah. What did, you, what did she tell you that made you come here? Uh, she told me that it's all about uh, women. So I am here to learn to know more about a woman and how to become a better woman. Wow. Okay, so what are your expectations? You just saw a random event on Facebook and you wanted to honor it. What did you expect? Yes, I'm here because I saw it's about women, me to shine, women submit. So I also want to join the event to motivate myself to do more than I've been doing. Um, the title actually attracted me, made to shine. So I want to shine better, I want to shine bright. I love the emphasis on better because as you are, you are shining. My light has been doing for a very long time, so I would want my light to shine across the whole wide world. So you have your placards with you yeah. and I want you to demonstrate the energy you have on your placard, right? Are you ready? So I'll be starting with the giant slayer. So how do you slay giants? Let me see. I slay giant. Interesting. I see possibilities. <laughs> possibilities only. Nothing is impossible. I'm powered by grace. Wow, okay, so the woman that defends her territory. Let me see. So I defend my territory. I take over everywhere I go to shine better than the stars. How do you feel about this event? 
I feel so great for the fact that it has to do with women empowerment. Like, I feel so good and I can't wait to learn more about it. We actually want um, to see women outshine in their peers. We want them to learn more about it. In fact, there are more to women that I myself don't even know. So that's why I'm also here. I saw it on Facebook. Mm. So when I saw the uncommon woman, me, I know I'm not common. So I want to be uncommon. I saw the team made to shine. I'm here to shine in every aspect of my life. That's why I came here because I saw the, the, the speakers. They are real people that are shining. Me too, I want to be like them and I want to shine. I heard about this from my mom on uh, WhatsApp and normally I call myself a queen. So hearing about a program where queens attend, definitely I had to be here. I mean, I don't want to be left out on better ways to be a queen. My name is Gibbs. I am part of the Uncommon Woman Movement, um, a protocol volunteering. Yes, and I've attended a couple of programs too and then get to follow. So it's been like we're following and following and following. It's actually a wonderful one, attending the first program, physical program, and then it was awesome. I told myself, no, I can't miss the next one. And then, you know, we have some other online programs and it's been awesome, so I choose to, to be here. You know, applying all those things, that's what actually makes the difference. It's not just about attending, it's about you practicalizing all what you get to hear or all what has been taught. So it's been awesome, you know, I've been better, talking about excellence, talking about, you know, putting God even in your workplace and all that. So it's been like, let's practicalize all what you're learning and then it's actually paying off.